Lexi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's Sunday reset routine. I love filming these videos for you guys. I take you through my Sunday. I share things that I love to do. No Sunday looks the same for me because I'm always doing different things, but I like to create a list of things to do that I just want to set myself up so I can have an amazing week. So I love to do my deep cleaning on like Thursday and Friday and Sunday's really a day to just kind of refresh my home, get any cleaning done that needs to be done. I'll usually cook a healthy meal. Um, and that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. I did create a little checklist on my whiteboard. I got this from Amazon, you guys, and it is amazing. Like. I have been using it every day. I use it for work, I use it for personal. Anytime I need to do a to-do list, I'll just write it out and I can cross things out as I go. So for today, here is my little to-do list. So I've already edited and did my thumbnail. Here's my little pen and it comes with like a little eraser. I'll link this below for you guys because it is so good. Um, but I went ahead and edited today's video. I did the thumbnail, so I'm gonna cross that off my to-do list. And the next thing on my to-do list was to change out the bedding. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and take care of. I'm turning the lamps on to kind of get some more light in the room. And then I'm gonna be changing out the sheets. So these sheets are by the brand UGG. I get mine from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx and they're amazing, you guys. I have two sets. So we're gonna take this set off of the bed and then I'm gonna put it in the laundry basket. I'm not gonna worry about throwing it in the washer yet because I like to wait to make sure I have a full load of whites before I wash them. So I had just washed my duvet so we took that off of the bed we're gonna get some fresh sheets on the bed and then we're gonna take care of the rest of the room been still loving our new Lowell mattress and Lowell pillows. You guys, we get the best sleep. It's so plush and comfy. We have blackout curtains in our room, but we like to keep them open so that way we can get up because otherwise we would stay in this bed all morning. It's so hard to get out of bed, but letting that natural sunlight come in wakes us up. obsession with Caldrea products. I'm using the Rosewater Driftwood to spray. It is linen and room spray. So I sprayed it all over the linen and also in the room. The room smelled amazing. And then I'm using their countertop spray to wipe down all the surfaces in the master bedroom. It smelled so good the time I was done with this. We're gonna get my nightstand wiped clean. Do you guys see that book, Atomic Habits? I just started reading it. I'm on chapter five and it is amazing. If you guys love self-help books, you will love Atomic Habits. It talks about how to make good habits and actually stick with them. It is so good, you guys. I will have that book linked down below for you guys. We're just finishing this master bedroom up by vacuuming the floors. And I don't know what it means, no This is what it feels like But you're not alone Cause I'm just like you Let's share out and hitchhike Went ahead and 
and changed my bed sheets already. So that is good to go. And I went ahead and tidied my bedroom so I can go ahead and cross that out. So what I have left to do on my to-do list, we need to tidy up the kitchen. I need to mop the floors. So yesterday I like swept all the floors around the house. I did a really good job of doing that, but we need to mop the floors. It's been about two months since I used a good old fashioned mop. I've been using my like two in one um, vacuum mop, which works amazing by the way, but there's nothing like an old school mop. It just really gets your floor super clean. And I kind of just want to do that. And so we haven't did that in like two months. And then I also put on here to brush Blissy Girl because we have been grooming her, brushing her like every other day because she has tight, tight curls. She's looking at me because I'm talking about you. She is 86% poodle, so she definitely has poodle hair. So we have to keep up with that. We try to brush her every other day. And then I also have one here to cook a healthy dinner. I wanna share with you guys a healthy recipe. I'm not sure we're gonna be cooking today. I took out some chicken breast, so I figured I could create a recipe with that. And then I put to organize a drawer. None of these are in any particular order. I was just like writing them down as they were coming to my head. I got these beautiful bamboo organizers. If you guys have been around on my channel, you know I love to organize with bamboo organizers. We have our utensil drawer organized with bamboo organizers. We have our coffee drawer. Like we have quite bamboo organizers around our home. So I ordered another set. And this set is to organize like your Ziploc bags, your sandwich bags, your snack bags, all of that stuff. So we're gonna be organizing that together. So that's everything I have on the list. I'm sure I will do some more things in this video as well, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, washing machine is going. I'm washing the mop attachment to go at the end of the mop because that was dirty. So we can mop the floors a little bit later but the kitchen's not too bad. We need to put these dishes away. We had margaritas last night, which were so good. I shared that over on Instagram stories. Um, the dishes need to be washed. I have a little bit of dishes over here. Um, we need to put this stuff away over here. And then the dishwasher's dirty and it's not quite filled yet, so I didn't start it last night. We have a little bit of space in here to put the dirty dishes in here. So we're gonna load all of these dishes, pop them in the dishwasher and get that started. These are the organizers I ordered from Amazon. It comes in a four pack and I love it because you can customize it. You can make it however you want to make it and line it up to fit your drawer. So it is an organizer for gallon bags, snack bags, sandwich bags, and also quart size bags. I scheduled a Target pickup to pick up some of these bags because I think I only have gallon and sandwich and we definitely use quart and snacks. So hopefully I can go pick up that Target order so that way we can add bags to that. But this drawer is looking so unorganized. So this is why I ordered the organizers. We can also restock the coffees. Might as well do that while we're in this drawer. So I figured while we're over here, let's go ahead and start with getting this drawer organized. I will have these bamboo organizers linked down below for you guys. They are amazing at keeping your drawer organized and neat. And I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this drawer because it had some crumbs in there. These are the liners. I lined these cabinets when we first moved in this house to protect them. And I love how clean it keeps the cabinets. So I do need to go to the store and get some more sandwich bags. I only have the sandwich ones. I didn't have the quart or snack. So I just went ahead and filled up all of the compartments besides the gallon size with sandwich bags bags and I'm now needing to figure out a new way to store my foil and saran wrap. They also have a bamboo organizer for that as well so I think I'm going to pick that up and put it to the drawer next to this one.
I was able to recycle all of that paper or cardboard, I should say, which makes me so happy. It looks so much better in the drawer and organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up this dishwasher so we can get it started. And then I'm gonna hand wash any dishes that I don't like to pop in the dishwasher. I will make sure to have my Amazon storefront linked down below for you guys if you are new here. So many of the items in my home are on my Amazon storefront. I get questions all the time about this silicone mat that I put my dishes on. That's on my storefront. This beautiful black and gold faucet is on my storefront. The soap pumps that I'm always using in my videos, that is on my Amazon storefront as well. So I will definitely have that linked in the description box for you guys. So that way, if you want to shop my home, you will have access to that. I wanted to get my home smelling nice and good. I'm lighting my Bath and Body Works candle. This one is sweater weather. If you guys have never smelled it, smells amazing. And then I'm using my Iowa Pine Mrs. Meyer spray to wipe down all the countertops so it smelled like a winter wonderland in my kitchen. Smelled so, so good. I wanted to end all, cause I've been trying. I've been waiting, waiting for so long. I'm waiting, 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 waiting. the kitchen all cleaned I wanted to unbox my brand new cooking set by Caraway Home I am so excited about this cookware set you guys if you have never heard of Caraway they make a hundred percent non-toxic ceramic cookware they are absolutely beautiful they come in so many different colors to complement any home the cookware set also comes with organizers for no additional costs so we're gonna get this set set up I'm gonna walk wash it so that way we can use it later in this video. I'm gonna be sharing a healthy recipe with you guys. I have been wanting a new pot and pan set that was high quality, that was safe and non-toxic because I do a lot of cooking in my home. So I can't wait to test this out for you guys and let you know my honest thoughts. It's killing me, I want it to end all. Cause I've been trying. So long. I'm using my Scrub Mommy sponge and my Dawn Power Wash to get these pots and pans nice and clean. I love that this set comes with everything you need. It comes with a fry pan, a saute pan, a saucepan, and also a Dutch oven as well. <laughs> Some say life is boring. 
we are almost done with getting this set completely washed. I'm just gonna wash the lids and then we're gonna go ahead and get it organized in my cabinet using the organizers that it comes with and also the little linen holder to hold the lids. You guys, that is such a smart design. So that way it is easy to store away. It looks beautiful in your cabinets and most importantly, it's super functional. guys are in new of some non-toxic, amazing quality, beautiful cookware, I will have my Caraway link down below for you guys in the description box. If you use my link, you get 10% off your order. So definitely pick you up a set today. They have so many beautiful colors to choose from. We're gonna be using these later in today's video. That's just wasting time. We're moving right on along on our to-do list for our Sunday reset routine. We went ahead and gave the kitchen a tidy. We organized the drawer as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to getting a Blissy Girl brushed out. I will have everything that I use to groom Blissy Girl linked down below for you guys. This is the slicker brush that I'm using right now. I like to start by spraying that conditioning spray all over her coat. That just kind of loosens up her curls and makes it super easy to brush through them. I used to dry brush her and I watch so many videos on YouTube to say that Golden Doodles brush out so much easier when their coat is slightly damp with like a conditioning spray. So this one was highly rated. So I purchased it from Amazon and it works amazing amazing you guys. So then I just take my slicker brush and I go through and really brush. I especially focus on those areas that she gets matting in. Since we've been doing this routine, she has not got any mats, which makes us so happy because in the beginning it was very rough trying to prevent her from getting any mats. And this routine has been working amazing. So once I have her fully brushed out with the slicker brush, then I will go in and follow through with the comb. The groomer says that you want to be able to see skin. So I will separate the fur or the hair because she doesn't have fur she has hair I'll separate the hair and make sure that I see scalps and make sure I'm getting to the skin to make sure she has no mats Blissy eats wet food. I really like to focus in her mouth area. I'll spray a little bit of that conditioning spray in my hand and then on that area. I don't like to spray it directly because it's too close to her eyes and I'll really make sure to comb it out because food gets stuck in there and that's where she typically gets matted. So I really focus in that area and now I'm just combing it through her body and she does pretty well with this routine. We do do it about every other day is ideal. So that way it doesn't take very long. If we do it every other day, it takes about 10 minutes. guys can see how excited Blissy Girl is. She knows we load her with treats after her little grooming routines and she does so well. We give her tons of treats. Bentley came here as well. We go ahead and give him treats even though he didn't have to go through the grooming process. But as you guys see how much hair came off Blissy Girl, that's just all of her dead hair that we brushed away to prevent any matting.
mopping the floors here in a second, taking a little snack break. I have some Greek yogurt, strawberries, blueberries, banana. I'm gonna put a little bit of granola on top. We're gonna eat this and then we're gonna mop these floors. Right guys? <laughs> That parfait was so good and what I needed to keep going. So now I'm ready to mop the floors. I like to get the water pretty hot, not too hot. And then I'm adding about a teaspoon of some Thai powder. It gets the floors super clean, you guys. It's super gentle, but also it does an amazing job. I like to go through my entire home and just mop, well, mainly just the common areas. I don't mop the back rooms too often. So we're gonna mop the floors and then I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a healthy, delicious, meal that we've had two times this week it is so good so it is mahi white fish and i'm going to be seasoning it up i'm going to be using some blackened seasoning and then i'm going to be making a mango salsa we're going to be serving that on a bed of rice with some broccoli so get excited for that recipe First thing we're gonna get started on is that mango salsa. My husband cut up all the ingredients for us, so it's gonna be nice and easy. The only thing I added later on was jalapeno. I will have the recipe typed out below for you guys, so if you want to make it up, you can. So first thing you want to do is chop up all of your ingredients. So we have some mango, cilantro, red onion, jalapeno, and you need about half of a lime. Once you have all the ingredients added in the bowl, go ahead and squeeze your lime juice, and then I put a little bit of sea salt. If you find that your mango is not sweet, add a drizzle of honey. This mango was actually very sweet, but usually if we get kind of a tart mango, add a drizzle of honey and it will make it perfect. Go ahead and put your mango salsa in the fridge while we work on the fish. I'm seasoning the fish up with salt, pepper, blackened seasoning, and garlic powder. You can use any brand of blackened seasoning. You definitely want to season it very well. This is the best combination for blackened fish. It was so flavorful, you guys, and it just tastes amazing with the mango salsa. The mango salsa kind of like cooled down the spices. You just have to try it. It was so good. I'll have the seasoning combination typed out below for you guys. pan I'm adding some coconut oil and then I'm putting the heat on medium-high heat coconut oil is key when you're making fish it just gives it like a tropical flavor it smells so good I sauteed some fresh garlic till it kind of got fragrant now I'm adding the fish you guys these caraway pans were like a dream nothing stuck to the bottom of it everything slid right off Loved it, such a smooth surface. It was so easy to wipe clean. So here is our plates. I went ahead and cooked up some white rice. I steamed some broccoli for a few minutes in the microwave. I'm adding that fish to the rice, making sure to get that juice. 
and then we're gonna be topping it with that mango salsa that had been sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes. This takes the flavor to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching episode five in my Sunday reset routine. I created an entire playlist, so I will have that link down below. If you guys loved this video, I'm sure you'll love those videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love it if you joined the family here on my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.